What's up everybody? My name's David and I'm Manny and today we're gonna take a look at the new headquarters. Alright guys, so over the last couple weeks we've been doing actually a big expansion. Um, the room is a lot bigger now and we've added a lot of new animals. So it's time to show you guys my YouTube fans. Now check this out, I thought this was pretty stylish, the door. Now let's leave. Let's go into Narnia real quick. Put this here. So as you guys can see, the room is a lot bigger. I have a lot more rags. This is Picasso over here, some of my, uh, you know, Instagram followers or YouTube followers, you guys know who he is. He's my personal pet chameleon. Alright guys, so just a quick tour of the place. Basically, all the cages and all the storage bins you see are geckos for the most part. Um, up here are the two bearded dragons. Obviously, to Manny's right is the panther chameleon. We got some roaches down here. If you keep reptiles, you're gonna keep have to keep food, which includes insects. Come over here, Manny. Um, as you can see, there are some worms over here. We have an incubator there where we have some of the bearded dragon eggs. Here are some boxes where I keep uh, the shirts that we actually sell. If you guys want to buy any of these beautiful shirts that we do sell, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, some of the deli cups. This is our little station where we. Uh, you know, I'll do, you know, set up the sales. I have, you know, some of, some of my documents here, but uh, this is where I basically do all the online stuff. There's one of our cameras. Um, so come around over here. Those are some cool paintings. Yep, those paintings were actually done by my father, who's a graphic designer as well. So I get the luxury of, you know, having all that stuff done for me. Um, we can actually move these racks, as you can see, but. Here is one of the biggest Lichianis cage, that's uh, Shrek, we'll pull them out in a second. Here we have more uh, cages, 10 gallon cages with uh, geckos in them, uh, more storage bins with geckos, geckos, geckos and more geckos and obviously the babies over here and over here guys, come over here, if you see this big empty what's it called, a uh, rack, it's because it has to get filled up, right? So, what we're going to have to actually get into is a big project I'm really, really excited about is African fat tail geckos. Now, some of you may already own them. I've never owned them myself, and I'm excited to get into them. But uh, I just love all the patterns and the moors and the, you know, the whiteouts, Orioles, Zulus, all these different moors. I'm looking to get into them. And this is where this is going to be their rack basically. So I'm really excited about that and just stay tuned. Uh, this is where we house the babies pretty much. All the babies that you guys see for sale um, on my website or on the Facebook page, they're pretty much here. This is how we house them. Um, so let's, let me show you an example of some of the babies that, you know, how we house them. I pretty much keep them here in like a shoebox size container with a uh, the water bottle caps I always rave about. That's like the best way to feed them. Um, I put some, the what's it called, the egg crates. It's great for, you know, they like to climb in it and hide in it. And check this little one out. Hold on. This little pinstripe is a stunner. This is actually one of my favorite holdbacks of this season so far. Yep. So let me sh let me just show you guys. You guys are gonna get a you know a real treat today. I'm gonna show you some of my other holdbacks, some of the projects I'm really excited about. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, pretty much living the dream. This is another one. This is a bigger one. But check out that yellow and that cream. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous, ridiculous.
So that's a yellow, uh, yellow and cream pinstripe. That's actually from Pina Colada. For a lot of you know, that know my geckos, um, check these little little guys out. This is actually a red pinstripe. It will develop a red coloration as it gets older, but uh, the pattern is just absolutely incredible. It's a partial quad stripe, as you guys can see. You guys can see on this side. Not the best lighting in here, but you know, you gotta work with something. So that's one of the reds. Let me show you guys probably the best gargoyle I have right now. Check this thing out. And to my luck, it's a male. So he will be bred to a lot of females once he's of size. This is a red striped and blotched male. And he's about to take a poop and pee on me. Let's put him back. Uh, some of the other stuff we got here, just, you know, your basic stuff, the pinstripes. Here's a nice, a really nice quad stripe we have. If you guys been following me, you know that, you know, I'm big into the quad stripes. I just, there's something about them that, you know, really draw, draws to me. See what else I can show you guys. These are really nice yellow pink stripe. Check this little one out. Check how clean that is. Incredible color. So that's some of the babies we have here. Now let's get into some of the breeders. All right, as breeders, we gotta find the most effective ways to do things, you know? So what I like to do is I grab one of these squeeze bottles, basically like you would put ketchup or anything, just serve up the, the gecko food, you know? The geckos love it, you know, I love it, you know, so. Quick and eat, mm, mm. how did that taste? It's very good. Can't deal with insects, can't ask anything better than that. Then we give the geckos food. Was that balanced to Pangea and water perfect for you? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's good actually. Alright guys, we're about to show you some of our up and coming breeders, some of our favorite up and coming breeders, and uh, and also the diversity. We have some reds coming up, some yellows, you know, and some with a mix of everything. Yeah, so let's start whipping these geckos out. I get the red one because the red's my favorite. Yellow here. So yeah, as you guys can see, I mean, we have a lot of, you know, up and coming projects here. This is a, you know, like a, basically a patternless yellow, but she's exceptionally bright. Um, this over here is an extreme Harlequin tricolor. She has a lot of white on her and just gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. And what Manny has there is a, crazy beautiful red pinstripe. She's not even fully fired up. Yeah, I mean, I wish I wish we could get her, you know, true colors. Usually at night they fire up a little better, but you can't win all these battles, right? Now let me show you a couple other ones. Ooh, look at that. Now let me show you a couple other ones. We actually have this really cool, this really nice male. Uh, this guy here. Okay, let's bring him out. Here's you must nice watch the hair, man. There are two males that we have, um, just harlequins, but with a lot of white. Just, it's a 
is absolutely stunning. These geckos are really, really ridiculous. Super cool. These are two of our red striped gargoyle geckos. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> and that is our red striped gargoyle gecko shirt worn by the model himself, Manny. Just kidding, he's not a model. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah guys, check out how awesome these geckos are. I know the lighting is here is not the best, but uh, I mean, these animals are just absolutely crazy. This is actually a pair. They're breeding and I have some babies from them coming. But probably won't be releasing any of those anytime soon. Sorry guys. Since I breed them, I get the first pig. And all the pigs. <laughs> Another big project that we're working here in Tiki's Geckos, which I'm really excited about, is these crazy weird looking geckos. I mean, look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. They meow. Would you call that a tricolor? Would you call Look that a tricolor? Markings on this thing. Check that out. Check that out. <laughs> All right, guys. Believe it or not, this is actually my first ever leopard gecko. Now. He is a super tangelo giant, which just means he's a tangerine albino, and he's a gi the giant form. He's actually about 100 grams, and these guys, the giants and the super giants, can reach over like even up to the 150 gram range. But uh, these guys are just so absolutely awesome. Um, they're only in insects, so their basic diet is mo mostly mealworms or uh, crickets. Uh, they do require some heat, like a hot spot of like 90 degrees and then a cooler spot, but overall they're just so super cool looking, super friendly, and uh, just really weird. I mean, check that fat tail out, but they have a beautiful, beautiful, you know, beautiful coloration. And obviously these guys are a little bit more common than the, the crested geckos are because they've been around for so many years. but. Uh, doesn't matter how common they are, I mean, it's just, it's really, really neat. Doesn't get much cooler than that. Actually, it does. Crescent geckos are better, but he's cool too. Hey guys, I'm here with two very, very special animals. This is Nala. She's a, she's a dunner, 100% hypo. And this is Pepito. He's a hypo. And these two, these two guys are really special because they're probably the best pets in here. You know, bearded dragons make great, great pets. And they're also pretty simple to take care of. They're omnivorous, unlike the crested geckos, they, well, meaning that they also eat insects and vegetables. And all you really have to do is produce a, a hot spot of like 95, 100, and then a cool spot. And um, these guys, as you can tell, they're very docile, very calm. And actually, this one a lot, Pepito, while we're doing stuff in here, he actually likes to come out a lot and just look at what we're doing. They're very curious animals. And uh, we recently began breeding these guys and she actually just recently laid a clutch of eggs. So we're hoping for a bunch of baby bearded dragons in the near future. And as you can tell, these guys are very beautiful animals. They're not fully fired up right now, but... But as you can see, they're... Oh. <laughs> yeah, get them, get them. Yeah. <laughs> like trying to breathe? Yeah, he probably saw her. He was like, "This guy's trying to breed. He's trying to make more babies." Yep. You can see, we just we, you can just grab them and just be like, "Hey, be my friend." <laughs> yeah, see, All right, guys. So here's some of the other animals, some of the other projects we're gonna start working with. This, of course, is a Rachidactylus lichianis or giant gecko. As you can see, he's super giant. This is the biggest species of geckos. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen my video on giant geckos where we go over, you know, the husbandry and all of that. But just wanted to show you guys, this is my biggest leechy in my collection. His name is Shrek. And how much does Shrek weigh? Uh, well, let's find out. All right, on live weighing. Yeah, and tell, tell him about the chalua. Why weight is lost. Alright, well this beauty here is an Isle of Pines Chihuahua. 
And they come in a lot of variations as well. This one has a lot of pink, a lot of greens, and and a little bit of white, but mostly green and pink. These guys, same exact care as the Crested Geckos. They all come from the same island, same care as the lychee. But as you can tell, these guys also get a little bit bigger than the Chihuahuas. I mean, than the, sorry, than the Crested Geckos. But clearly not as big as the Giant Geckos. Yep, that's 260 grams of pure gecko goodness. And what's an average size Crested Gecko play? 45 grams. 260 grams. This will eat Crested Geckos for lunch. Super cool animals. Definitely recommend getting them if you're a gecko enthusiast. Alright guys, so this is another really cool project that we have uh, here at Tiki's Geckos. Haven't been really successful with them yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to exactly breed them. But these are Abronia graminia, which are basically arboreal alligator lizards. Um, as you guys can see, they have a really cool uh, plated scales and they come in really cool, you know, different colors. This one has a little bit of copper on her and that one's just a solid green. There's also some turquoise ones and there's a black one. But they're basically very easy to keep. And as you can see, just uh, this dragon looking like thing is just super, super awesome, right? They're incredible animals. They, they actually make really, really great pets. Yeah. And um, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning animals. The vibrant greens, the the turquoises, the some even calico with the little with some white. Yeah. Yeah. The, these two are not they're at their best color right now, but they do get a lot brighter and nicer. And I think these guys are they don't get too big, but they're not too small either. Where you think they're fragile. These guys are pretty hardy animals and. Um, they come from a tropical rainforest, so you do need to keep the humidity a little bit higher. But yeah, they're from the cloud forest in like Central America, and uh, they're diurnal species, so they're active during the day, which is really cool. But um, we're actually going to be doing a care video on these guys pretty soon, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my place, and uh, I think that's that wraps it up. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all the social medias, you know, if it's out there, we have it. And make sure you uh, check out our Facebook, we just updated the availability, so we have tons of geckos available right now. And just make sure you follow us and, and subscribe to YouTube. Exactly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you like the videos, we got more coming the last Saturday of every month, new episode of Tiki's Geckos. See you guys next time. Alright guys, so this is the new guy. What is that? What is that music? Twigs. What the hell are you doing, man? What are you doing? This is a YouTube. Ki kids watch this. Hey, man. What are you watching? <laughs> guys, I'm so Cut the video. Cut, cut the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut the video, bro. Cut the video. <laughs> So this is where we keep, you know, all the babies. This is where we keep the adults. And uh, this is where I keep Manny, you know? I know some of you guys think that my geckos are housed in small bins, but you, as you can see, Manny is perfectly comfortable in his bin. Very comfortable. I missed him every night. You know, he's yeah. happy. He's been over a week. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Don't you guys think you should get a gargoyle gecko, red and, striped gargoyle gecko? And a gargoyle red striped gecko t-shirt? <laughs> a gargoyle gecko red striped <laughs> gecko. It's, it's too long man, too many words. Yeah, how sick is that? Look at that. That's cooler than how a dog. How stylish this That's many look. That's cooler than a dog. Do you have a dog t-shirt? Yeah, exactly. You got a red striped dog gargoyle t-shirt. Dog t-shirts will look foolish. <laughs> These are red gargoyle gecko t-shirts. Cat just comes in. Can your dog hang on to you like that? Can it? Or can it not? Exactly. So. Exactly. And there's Picasso staring at me again. 
up, man? Do you got some beef? Picasso? I mean, no, I'm sorry, Picasso. Pepito. You got some beef? What's going on, sir? I think he's a little jealous that, uh, I'm giving time to everyone else. That's too selfish. But I don't know one of those deli goes to fire him up. Okay. Let me so this is the, the secret to firing them up. We put them in a deli cup and then we shake them up and throw them around. And then we yeah. pretend that they all look, that they naturally <laughs> look like that when we go into the cages. Nah, just kidding. We don't do that. I'd be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... God, this thing is massive. That's such a lazy come on.